so something looks a little bit different around the yard. I decided that big barn had a lot of airs and basically it didn't really fit the farmyard and I'm not for sure if it works completely. I decided to get an old fashioned barn that fits the farmyard a little bit better and probably our uh, price tag. This is our new barn basically so we have uh, some cattle in here. I think this uh, barn looks a little bit better in my taste anyways I think it looks a lot better but you guys will have to let me know I know everything works on this uh, barnyard so the other one had a lot of issues anyways we got hay to bail up so we need to get to that first off though I got a local call for a tractor I've been looking for for a while uh, I've been looking for this tractor, so this is the tractor I basically grew up in, spent thousands of hours probably in. Uh, this tractor, this versatile, looks great. Everything looks great. The interior is great, but look how it turns. Basically, it doesn't turn correctly. So what we're going to do, we are going to load it up and trade it in for the tractor that I want. First off, we need to go get our uh, Dodge. We're going to use that to pull this thing. Go hook up to our trailer. Start this old girl up. It's a mighty 78, 6 degrees out. Pretty hot again today been some hot days this summer that's for sure all right pull this giant trailer out kind of hard I got it parked over there in the corner we are going to get this on the flattest land we got here uh, I think this is about as good as it's gonna get we'll load that versatile up start this old girl up Yeah, the front tires, they just bother me too much, if you can tell. I don't know exactly what. I think I think Versatiles turn like this, but the, the tires just aren't turning. That's the issue. I don't know how to fix that, so... Oh, well. So that is loaded up. Let's get it to town. The Versatile sure looks good. But fortunately, it has a major error in it. I do like that barn off in the distance way better than the other one. The other one was just clashing with basically everything else we had on our farm. I've always been more the old school taste anyways. The old style taste. The war end taste. I'm sure once you guys see this other uh, tractor that... I'm thinking about trading it off for you probably be a little bit more excited hopefully all right I kind of see the tractor who this is not gonna be easy to get over there okay drive around All right, I don't know if I can get the trailer over there. Might just leave it right here. Oh, the versatile stayed on there nicely. I have a habit of kind of losing stuff on trailers. But this is a tractor I want. 7140. You can't barely see it, but it's a 7140. This is, I got a lot of memories in a 7140, so. Uh, that is why I'm going to get this. This one actually has a loader, so that will work nicely. And, oh, it has a uh, three-point uh, bale spear in the rear, the rear of it. So this will be one of our bigger tractors on the farm. 
Probably even bigger than an articulated tractor just because it's a lot newer. Okay. So basically, I'm going to take a little bit of hit between them. I think he wanted uh, $5,000 in difference. I, the Versatile is a little bit newer, but the 7140 is basically... Uh, it's got a better reputation for maintenance. It's got less hours, so this is rare to find a 7140 with only... 3,000 hours on it so that uh, other versatile has 4,000 a little over 4 whoa what the heck man that is a clean Ford hmm yeah uh huh that's a clean looking Ford there Kind of like the man. Maybe we could use another work truck on the farm, especially with our operation growing a little bit. And oh, look, interior looks nice. Man, the keys are in it. I'm gonna try to start it up. I know we didn't talk about this. Ooh, listen to that purr. I love that sound. It's. A four-wheel drive too, a dually. It's an old gasser, uh, F-150 Ranger XLT. It's got BF Goodrich on the back. Man, that's a clean truck. Love the chrome front end. I don't know. I, I think maybe I'll try to throw in that truck too. We'll see what we can do. Where this guy lives around. Oh, here he is. Yep. We'll go talk to him. See what we can do. Alright, so I wheeled and dealed and I got the Ford truck filled in for $10,000 difference. Uh, I think we might be taking a serious hit here, uh, especially because I think I got a pretty good price for the Versatile, but I really been had an eye out for the 7140. I mean, you just don't see these all the time, so uh, if you'd like to get this 7140, you can find it at CNH Modding. And this is uh, Expendables truck here. Find them both there. So I'd like to just park these beside each other just to see how they look and that that international sure looks good I, I like the red seats it must have been a premium uh, a premium cab there I don't even know if they had premium cabs back in the day Let's see uh, eh, they're both about the same height looks like uh, the 7140 has 30 inch row spacing on its tires. Pretty similar. Oh look, the door closes and opens too. That's pretty nice. Yeah, looks like we got uh, a bailing monitor there and a seating monitor. That's nice. And yeah, the, the loader works good there. Whew. Yep, I like it. I do like that power shift. Look how that works too. Of course, it don't you don't go all the way to gear 18 every time, but it's pretty cool. It even goes in reverse. I have many memory memories using that power shift. That is one strong transmission. I like it. So I am going to, uh, I uh, think we're going to put the Ford up first on the trailer. Probably be the best option. And this thing probably has one of the first cruise controls out on a Ford pickup. Alright. Can't believe we went and uh, traded tractors and we ended up buying a Ford. 
I got a Chevy, Ford, and a Dodge on the farm, yeah. I like how this turns off. It turns off just like the old gassers. It takes a few seconds for it to turn off. Pretty cool. Alright, now I'm a little worried that we don't have the room for this. Uh, we don't have the room for this 7140. Are we going to make it through? This is a little bit wider. Yep. Yep, made it through there. I think I'm going to put that uh, loader all the way high. As high as it could go. And, uh, creep this old girl up. Alright, that didn't work. We're gonna try to back it up here. I'm gonna have to make sure I don't pop a tire with this fork thing. Bail forks. Right up, right on top of that bed. Hoping it will. Uh, I think that's good right there. I'm hoping they'll stay. We gotta chain this down now. So, looks. We just barely touch right there. So, yep. I guess we are on. That's a lot of weight. I'm hoping I can get out of this uh, driveway here. This is not the easiest driveway to get out of. We will see here. I think I got the weight distributed kind of good, too, so. Alright, so we are pulling off here. Ooh, yeah. Gotta go nice and slow. Don't take out the mailbox. You won't be happy about that. We're gonna take our back way to our house. And that forward looks good. I can't believe we have, uh, all three brands on the form, a GMC, a Ford, and a Dodge. Definitely got to take it slow on these roads. Man, are you really putting the use into this Dodge lately? It's been pulling pretty good for as much weight as I had to pull with it. Oh, Cummins got the power. Alright, now I got a... Ooh. Is it going to pull it up here? Oh, man. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Ooh, man. This Cummins. 24 valve. Oh. Oh. Man. Oh. Are we going to get it? Are we going to get it? Oh, we got it. Man, that thing... That is no joke making it up these hills. Still have one more hill to conquer. Hello, Lone Oak. You can see our grass off there in the distance is ready to bail. We are uh, killing time right now, so we need to get over there and bail it. Oh, my cows are mooing. Are you guys hungry over there? okay when you are almost done messing around we'll start bailing for you all right I think I'm gonna unload it right here so uh, basically a plan on once we start harvesting I'm gonna use this uh, 7140 on my Brent grain cart make it into a star a corn star Anyways, we'll get this thing off here. Alright. Start it up. Raise the front loader up a little bit. Make sure we still have clearance. We good. Drive, ooh. A little bit of a bounce there. Drive this off over here. I think, Beans, this has a bale spike and everything already on it. I'm going to use this to pick up the bales right now we have to bail them first all right so now I think we can get it without the ramps start this girl up Ugh, yeah reminds me of old show tool power ooh, 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 ooh. 
I love the sound of this old Ford here. We're going to park this over here. Just display it for my cousin when she comes. She is going to be so jealous. Ooh, watch out, Buck. Dumb Buck likes to run under tires. There we go. Yep. That is a dream right there. Oh, I think somebody's calling me. Hello? Hey, it's Mandy. I was wondering if you have any extra jobs. I just got a new Bronco and kind of short on cash. Uh, I guess you could rake for me a little bit. That's not quite what I had in mind. Are you serious? Hey, you're the employee. Do it. What about next evening? Uh, maybe tomorrow night. I need you right now, though, if you can come over. Well, I was going to make some breakfast. Uh. I'll see you in an hour. All right. That'll work. Okay, bye. Later. While we're waiting for her to get here, we will uh, start this old girl up. So we got a 7210 and a 7140. To hook this uh, baler up. All right, we are all hooked up. We'll see if we can do some bailing. Then uh, once she gets here, I think I'll start her on raking. Oh yeah, forgot I uh, ended up swathing this too. Start that old baler up. All right, it's running. So I've been bailing here maybe a couple minutes. And I already have the same amount of bales as I got for last crop. Isn't that sad? Just trying to pick up all the scraps around this little yard. I feel like all I'm doing is running around in circles though. And I got a few more scraps up there on the hill. But see, one, two bales. We are bailing now. Alright, we are just about done with this field. Just got a few more rows to get done here. Man, look at all them bales. Makes me feel so good after last crops failure. Uh, definitely, what? Ten times the bales out here. I don't know if we're about at 20 bales yet or not. I've been keeping track. I don't have a counter. Man, we just missed that bale right there. Luckily, it's just out of the way of that roll still. Alright, this should be our last row we've got to do. Right over there. Well, my cousin is late. Big surprise there, huh? Uh, I guess I'm going to get into that rake and start raking around this other field. I'd like to get these both done here today and picked up. Alright, back this up a little bit. I want to get this little bit right at the start of this field. Alright. Oh, there we go. 
got to lower it down a little bit farther. So I'm going to do the outside pass. Probably have to do it anyways. Way my cousin can uh, hopefully uh, get here soon. Looks like I missed a little bit of grass up here. It's oh well. Oh well. You don't want to get them tree branches and all that into your mower. Do more damage than good, and then it's not worth the actual crop you get. Alright, going around the woods here. I'm just making sure I don't get any branches into the rake. Gotta make sure there's nothing over there. Don't want to bail up a big branch. That'll hit the shear bolt or break the shear bolt. All right, hopefully my cousin gets here. Need to start bailing this so I can pick him up. Oh, there she is. Look at her go, driving fast like always. There she is. Finally got here. Probably should have told her I already raked that, but anyways, she's going. She could do it how she wants. I'm gonna get over here and uh, I guess shut off her uh, Bronco. Really? You're gonna start a fire out here? We got dry hay. All right, she's over there uh, raking still and we are dropping our first bale. Running around this field. Getting a lot of bales. We got a lot of bales to pick up on this field, that's for sure. Gotta go up here on this odd little uh, loop I did up here. This Magnum sure works good on this baler, especially has the power to pull it up these uh, big little hills in our field. All right, now we're following her as we go here. Wonder, uh, think I can beat her? Well, these are some big windrows over here. Oh man, she's really taking off now. Now that we have to make this bail. Man, she's really running ahead of me. Gotta try to keep up. Doesn't seem like she bounces as much as in that old uh, 4020. That's a good looking Bronco over there. Driving by our beautiful fishing pond here. Gotta get this unload, get the, all this bailed up. Man, it takes a little bit longer when you're actually making bales, that's for sure. Looks like, uh, my cousin's already started up on her up and down rows. Alright, so we are bailing the last in row. So I didn't end up bailing this headland because I wanted my uh, cousin to be able to turn around that rake. The rake is really wide and uh, 
didn't want her bending up that brake on hitting a bale or something like that. So I just kind of left this till the end. Now we gotta bale this up. Got a few more scraps to get on this field and then we are done baling. I think this is uh, the final baling of the year. At least I think. Alright, just got one last pass around. This is an awful windy pass, that's for sure. How did that bale get up and then trees? How does that happen? I don't remember backing that bale up into the trees. We got a lot of bales. I don't know if we got 50 bales on this field or not. It seems like a lot of bales. Way better than two bales, that's for sure. But I'm gonna go get uh, this part to the side and I'm gonna have to go get the trailer. I think my cousin's gonna help me pull around the trailer while I uh, put the bales on back of it. We go get our trailer and our new Magnum. Hop the fence here. Jump over. So that's the trailer we're gonna use right there. All right, so I'm gonna use the 4440. I think it's over here somewhere. There it is. Got a... Looks like I need to put some gas in this thing too. We will unhitch the mower right here. All right, now I gotta go fill this up with gas here quickly. Pumping some gas. Alright, fill it up with gas. Start this back up. Now, I'm going to put this uh, three point hitch on this thing. Alright, got that on. I just need the hitch portion of it. There we go. Now we'll go hook up that uh, trailer. So I like using this tractor just because it has a little bit more uh, torque to it. So pulling up them hills and around them. And we don't have to haul the bales far, so I think the tractor works better for it. There we go, we got the Pride of the Prairie hooked up. Pull this around here and get it to the field. Then we gotta run back and get the Magnum. Trailer rides nicely on the back of this uh, tractor. Uh oh. Will I be able to get through here? Uh oh. Gotta back it up. Didn't make that turn correctly. It's awful tight getting down here to our uh, grass fields. Alright, goes far over here. There we go, that was easier once I turn it correctly. Alright, just got a few bales right here. I don't even think it's worth parking the tractor over there. Just gonna go over to this field and start uh, Stack in the hay. Or start uh, filling this trailer up. Usually I like getting in the middle, kind of an open area here, so I got plenty of room to turn around. Alright, now we gotta run back quickly. Man, does this bring back memories. Alright, so we're gonna go to the field. Start uh, picking up this hay like this air ride seat in here makes this uh, riding way smoother. So we gotta get these bales here. Alright, got that bale there. Get to pick up this bale over here. 
Try to go as slow as possible in this bouncy field so I don't break my suspension or my axle on this tractor. There we go. Tilt that up a little bit. All right. We are hauling now. A little bit side heavy. Pick up this other bale here. All right, so we'll get this over on the trailer here. There we go. as far as possible up there. Got a lot of bales to pick up. Move over there, that's for sure. We are hauling away here. We're gonna make it through this uh, fence. Man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just barely. Gotta watch out so we don't hit that rake. 44 40, getting it done. Hold 
up this hill. There it goes up this hill. Man, a wee blow, rolling coal now. So we are going to have a hay pile on the other side of our dairy barn here. Pack it up just nicely, so all we have to do is just run right beside it, put a bale in the feeder. Hopefully anyways. Alright, so we got them bales stacked in. Now we just gotta head over for another load. Got them all up on in there, so gonna have to stack on top of them and then hopefully the rain when it rains will run off down the, the bale you don't want to stack on in like that out in the rain because uh, could the rain would just basically soak into the bale looks like our uh, we're gonna go right over here by our magnum it's on the other end of the field here so we got what we might have to go over there and get a few more bales quickly but we'll load this up as quick as possible I'm going to try to get in the center of all this as best as possible there we go back up again. Bale. 
This load is done. I think I can get all the other bales in one load. Which worked out just perfectly. If not, if I'm missing one up there in the tree somewhere, I guess I can always put one on the loader here while I'm driving back. Push. Come on, you can do it. There we go. There we go. That's another load. Get this thing headed back over there. Let's go. All this thing can handle pulling this trailer. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Yeah, I think just one more load if my count is correct. Make sure we don't tip this trailer. We've got a lot of weight on here. Not enough where this 4440 can't handle it, that's for sure. Get through this fence here. Make sure we clear it. There we go. Clear that. Come on, girl, you can get up this hill. I know, I'm bringing some hay, don't worry. What the heck? Oh no, what What happened to my Massey Harris? Oh no. Poor old tractor. Guess that water tank is too much for it. Pulling this uh, last load over to the hay pile here. So we got three loads over here. So definitely better than two bales. So our milk cows should be producing some good milk. Making us some money. There we go. Got all the bales over there now. But thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Oregon. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.